So I engage in open practices in order to increase the potential for impact of the work that not only I do, but of my community partners and my students. I feel like we cannot know how others will use our ideas or build on our work or transform it in any way if we don't open the opportunity to them to reach out to those ideas and to connect with them. I engage in open access publications in order to get my, the new findings I do in my, with my science uh, and um, its application to teaching and outreach to the widest audience possible. For me personally, one of the reasons that I decided to write an open calculus textbook was purely to increase access. So initially a lot of things were driven out of the cost that I saw my students incurring and questions that I had about the cost versus the benefit. Um, so I wanted to change access as much as I could for them in a financial way, but I also wanted to change access for them in an understanding way. Libraries support open access in order to support the equality of access to information as well as a healthy approach to democratic debate. Open access is the publication of information and research in a mode that's not behind a paywall that is easily accessible to anyone who can access a computer and the internet. It's the whole whole aspect of us shifting from paper to digital. Open access too I think fits with the idea that the scholarship should be able to be freely and easily shared. I mean, you know, when uh, content exists behind paywalls, who has access to it? The common thread that we have to keep in mind is that we are focused on making the information openly available to all. I originally got into this not through open access of scholarship or open textbooks, but through the idea of open source. And when you look at open source software production and how the sharing that happens facilitates collaboration, it facilitates the creation of knowledge in a way that does not happen without it. The academic community, we were, we've never, we were never originally about making money off our scholarship. It was always supposed to be about sharing of knowledge and the more widely we can share it, the more likely that is to facilitate new knowledge or better knowledge. If the students can't get to the material other than shelling up $200 at the beginning of the term, then there's a barrier there and there's some um, inequities and so by using open educational resources, I'm hoping that those inequities are lessened. I think first as an individual, but also as a library professional, open access really matters to me because I think that libraries are a nexus of access to information and support for continuing healthy democracies. And by having publicly funded research available back to the public, we are being accountable to the common good that higher education provides. Any school of education what they're trying to do is liberate the mind. And in order to liberate the mind, you have to open it. And how do you open it? You open it by allowing people to see as much as they can. So we not only let the folks at Grand Valley open their minds, but in doing so, if they work with organizations like T3, they help open the minds of many people all over the world. I'm interested in open access uh, as a philosopher because I want my work to have some kind of impact beyond just sharing it with a couple other colleagues in my subfield of American philosophy. Open access gives us the widest possible publicity and raises the, raises, raises the stature of our institution. I also think that open access is important for the long-term sustainability of research and scholarship. There's a big trend right now in a lot of social science research in terms of being able to replicate and, and repeat experiments, and I think open access plays right into that. The more that I've seen uh, of the web, the more I realize the way that we're gonna equalize justice for not only the United States, but all of the world is through open access. The university's support for faculty using their time this way to benefit not just our students, but students around the world is admirable and appropriate for a public institution. Then the university is living into its mission to educate students to shape their lives, their professions, and their societies in ways that go well beyond just what happens in classrooms here, but is affecting uh, education indeed around the world for people that don't really have access to it.